First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith. Just want to get into a quick video, Lord willing, it's edifying. Just want to, you know, make a video because some people, actually a lot of people, it ain't our fault that you got men on the earth that the Lord is dealing with. And he chooses who he deal with. And just because you don't understand, don't make the word not so. Okay? And for the people who say, oh, I'm supposed to believe a book that man wrote, we're going to get into that through the scripture. So let the scriptures talk. John fourteen sixteen, and I will pray that the Father, he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Okay? Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, this is the main reason why you don't understand. Because you're in the world. You're not of the spirit, and you're not one of the spirits chosen. Now, understand this as the bible said there be many called but few are chosen so you have people who got this knowledge at one point in time but evidently they wasn't chosen because they fell out the truth so just because you know the truth and you understand this truth right now still doesn't make you the elect but just for the edification of this video we're just going to read some scriptures about how the Lord works and how he deal with his men. And just because you don't understand doesn't make it not so. So I say even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it see of him not. Neither know of him. But ye know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Okay. So just because you don't get it because he's not dwelling in you now most high through his son have a people that he chosen they called the elect just because you don't understand doesn't make it not true okay because the last time i checked who the fuck are you talk about you unbelievers out there the people who can't get it. 18. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Now what is the comforter? We about to get it. Told you I'm trying to make this quick straight to the point. But the comforter which is the Holy Ghost. Whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Okay. Because that's why I said bring all things to your remembrance. Because you once knew this. It's a thing called reincarnation. And every time you come onto the life. Come back into another life. Okay. You don't have to remember it. So the former things. As I say in Ecclesiastes 1 and 11. Alright. And. Guess what? The Bible deals with prophecies. So the one thing that make this book, um, you know, more relevant than any other book, this book declared from the be declared the beginning from the end, you know, and for the time's sake of this video, we're just trying to get into, you know, how the Lord deals. We're going to deal with the father. See, the father. He uses creation for everything. So that means if he wanted to use his creation to write down his word, he can. So the problem is, is people, you know, even Christians who believe in God and Jesus, which is not their name. You limit him. He is omnipotent. OK, and it's nothing too hard for him. And, and, and another thing, too, if you created anything I'm talking about you, you unbelievers. If you created a robot, wouldn't you have control over that robot? Wouldn't all the functions of that robot 
will be the functions that you give him. He only can do what you want him to do because you created it. You don't create nothing that didn't just get a mind of his own and it do its own thing. And the reason I'm saying this is because you really got people out here <laughs> say dumb shit like, oh, I'm supposed to believe the Bible. A man wrote the Bible where the most high. Matter of fact, let's get the scripture just to back it up. But there is is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the almighty giveth them understanding now that word inspiration means to breathe upon and what did yahweh bashim yahweh shah breathe upon us we just read it the holy spirit they teach you all things you understand all things okay so when we read this word it's simple to us Whenever when you read the word, it's like, what the hell is this book talking about? So you got men on the earth who knows what the book's talking about, okay? And just because Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah is not dealing with you, doesn't mean that this Bible is not true. And once you understand that, then you could just take your happy go lucky ass on somewhere. Because nobody cares about your opinions. And that's why at the end of the day, we going to have the last laugh. Lord willing, you know, can't speak for another brother. But we all wish to endure to the end. So, Lord willing, I endure to the end. All right. Told you I'll make this, this, this quick and to the point. Quick and to the point. So it said, we have also a more sure word of prophecy. Prophecy means to say before it happened. Okay? That's why this book have no other mate. No other books declare from the beginning and to the end. Okay? Like the Bible do. No other book told, you know, about the so-called blacks latinos and native americans which are israelites about the things that was going to come upon them and about the curses that will come upon them about all the things that this book said that was going to happen to us it happened to us man and it said it and, and he said it through moses before it happened okay so anyways we have a also a more sure word of prophecy where unto you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star rise in your hearts okay. knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation okay so this word is out there, man. This ain't this ain't no private interpretation. That means that everybody have a Bible in their damn house. But guess what? Only certain people is going to understand it. Your pork chop eating pastor don't understand this. All he cares about your tithe money, and he and he think that you know um, riches is godliness. When the Bible say the opposite. All right. So for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of the most high spake as they were moved by the holy ghost that's what it's all about so yahweh uses creation he even uses only begotten son and the angels to create everything let me use a street let me use a worldly analogy which is a street analogy you think the drug lord is out here pushing his drugs? No, he have panhandlers under him pushing his drugs. Okay? The drug lord don't get out in the streets and get busy. He got men for that. The same way how Yahweh sit on his throne and he uses creation for everything. Even write his words in a book. And reserved it all the way until today for his men who wrote it <laughs> actually living it reading it understanding it okay like imagine you could be reading about yourself right now we didn't you know talking about the prophets um today they reading about 
the message that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh put in them, right? And then now they fulfilling the word. They understand the word. When John was writing Revelation, he ain't understand what he was writing. He was just writing down a vision. But now we know. He ain't know what Babylon the Great was. We know what Babylon the Great is. But let me get back on subject. I think I'm going to end it right here. So just a real quick one, man. I just scoffers, man. Y'all gonna y'all gonna find out the hard way. The Lord gave the word. Listen, let's read that again. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. All right. Even the people who published this word, the most high was with, evidently. Okay. From Hebrew to Greek, Greek to Latin, Latin to English. He reserved his word for the men of the Lord today can get it. And through the Holy Spirit, we got it. Through Yahweh Shai dying on the cross, sending down the comforter. Over 2,000 years ago, we understand this word, which is the only thing that can bring us back to our true state and the only thing that's going to save us. Matter of fact, let me end it on this one. Hmm. Said heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.